History of November 15, 1946, Signing of the Lingayati Negotiations Lingarjati is not only the name of an area in West Java, but also the name given to an agreement. The Lingayati Agreement is a political agreement signed, on November 15, 1946, by the Dutch government and the Republic of Indonesia. In this agreement, the Dutch side was represented by Hubertus van Mook, while the Indonesian side was represented by Prime Minister Suthan Sharv. The Lingayati Agreement is a diplomatic effort by the Indonesian government to fight for the unitary territory of the Republic of Indonesia from the clutches of the Dutch colonialists. There were two specific reasons behind the negotiations at Lingarjati. First, because of the desire of the Dutch to return to power in Indonesian soil, and secondly, to resolve the protracted Indonesian-Dutch conflict. According to the terms of the agreement, the Netherlands agreed to recognize Indonesian rule over Java, Sumatera, and Madura. Indonesia would then become a state of the United States of Indonesia, which will be established no later than January 1, 1949, and form the Dutch-Indonesian Union, together with the Netherlands, Suriname and the Netherlands Antilles, with the Queen of the Netherlands, to be the official head of this union. After feeling colonialism for so long, Indonesia finally declared independence on August 17, 1945. However, the euphoria of independence did not last long because threats from foreign parties reappeared, namely from the Dutch. Dutch troops who are members of NICA, Netherlands Indies Civil Administration, come to Indonesia. NICA took part in piggybacking, on the Allied Forces as well as, AFNI, Allied Forces Netherlands East Indies, with the aim of disarming the defeated Japanese troops. The suspicions of the Indonesian government and people were also proven by the fighting that took place. For example the battle on November 10 in Surabaya, the Battle of Amburawa, and others. Due to the prolonged conflict, the Dutch and Indonesian parties, agreed to make their first diplomatic contact, in the history of the two countries, with the British government, as the mediator in charge. Negotiations were held. Indonesia and the Netherlands were invited to hold negotiations, at the Hogue Vilawe on 14 April 15, 1946. However, the negotiations failed because Indonesia asked the Netherlands to recognize its sovereignty over Java, Sumatera, and Madura, while the Netherlands only wanted to recognize Indonesia over Java and Madura. After the failure in the first negotiations, the British government sent Lord Kalern to Indonesia to conclude negotiations between Indonesia and the Netherlands. Negotiations continued on October 7, 1946, at the British Consulate General in Jakarta. Indonesia Dutch negotiations were open led by Lord Kalern. These negotiations resulted in a ceasefire agreement, 14th of October, and paved the way for negotiations at Lingarjati, which began on November 11, 1946. After the Dutch general election in 1946, the newly formed coalition government decided to establish a general commission to begin negotiations with Indonesia, whose aim was to regulate the constitution of the Dutch East Indies in the post-World War II without liberating the colony. The leader of this commission is Wim Schermerhorn. In these negotiations, Wim Schermerhorn and his commission, and Hubertus van Moek represented the Netherlands, while Indonesia was represented by Soetan Charm, A.K. Ghani, Susanto Tertoproho, and Mohamed Rome. Then from England was represented by Lord Kalaren, who acted as a mediator in this negotiation. The results of the negotiations at Lingarjati were signed on November 15, 1946 at the Murdaka Palace, and legally signed by the two countries on March 25, 1947. The contents of the Lingarjati Agreement are as follows. The Netherlands recognizes de facto the Republic of Indonesia with territory covering Sumatra, Java, and Madura. The Netherlands had to leave the de facto area no later than January 1, 1949. The Republic of Indonesia and the Netherlands will work together to form the United Indonesia State, one of the states of which is the Republic of Indonesia.
the United Republic of Indonesia and the Netherlands will form an Indonesian-Dutch union with the Queen of the Netherlands as its chairman. With the existence of this Lengayati agreement, politically the Republic of Indonesia gains because there is de facto recognition. This agreement was then officially signed on March 25, 1947 at the Bijswaug Palace, Astana Merdeka, Jakarta. Thank you for watching until the end. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you next time.